so uh, there's a time jump after between season one and season two. What can you say about where we will find your characters when we pick up in the premiere? Uh, you know, there's definitely been time to grieve and mourn over you know, the loss of Tommy, but then also obviously the tragedy of the Blades. Um, but as I've said, you know, I think Tommy's death is the only way to save her. Um, yeah, well, 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 we'll dig, I think, first of all, everybody's going to be dealing with Blades and Tommy's death, right? What that means to everybody. I think Diggle specifically uh, has seen a lot of destruction. So I think for him, unlike probably some of the other characters, he has a very clear sense of purpose and the mission must move forward. So that's just him. But everyone has dealt with it, and that kind of um, by relationship will affect Diggle because he has to do some wrangling in terms of Oliver. Because Oliver will really be thwarted by uh, the choices he made during the Glaze incident. What do you hope to see from your character? Since you've just started filming. I think the they touched on it a little bit in season one. Um, Laurel and live in action, in action doing her thing in the courtroom, which by the way was so intimidating, but so much fun. Just the legal jargon is it's difficult, but it's still I love that kind of stuff. And, and I think the strength that she has. I also have so much not that I didn't have respect before, but so much more respect for lawyers who go get up there. Performing on the stage, basically, and hopefully we'll get to see more of that. And her more part of the the action and. Yeah, for Diggle, I just want to fight. It's an action show, you know? Just so, I just want to fight more. I mean, for Diggle, yeah, the fisticuffs. I love doing that. And I love to see Diggle in action, kind of separate from from uh, the arrow, just kind of kicking ass. I like that. I do love being a part of, you know, the action story with others defending my family or maybe trying to, having to defend somebody else, which you definitely get to see some of that coming out in season two, which is my favorite. Um, so yeah, of course, but again, I don't think it, it has to be legitimate, it has to make sense, it has to be organic, I don't think it would be right if they were like, okay, now you're going to be a fishnet and a leotard and you're the black bear, you know what I mean? It's, we want it to, we all want to make a good show, the best show that we possibly can, and however that is going to I want to see your fish next to the <laughs> you know, we'll see. And what are their love lives looking like in season two? Because obviously there's a little bit of flirtation with Diggle and his former sister-in-law, and then obviously Laurel and Oliver have their very, 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 very complicated relationship. Are either... I'm going to give you my quick answer because hers is very complicated. Okay. Oliver and Laurel just... A headache. Like, come on, y'all, for real. <laughs> um, yeah, with, 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 uh, with Diggle... Yeah, we're going to make some very quick choices about him and Carly. I mean, it's his dead brother's wife. Okay, that's it. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to make some choices very quickly about that. Okay. Uh, Laurel and Oliver. Uh, love life. You know, it's uh, Yes, it's, it's very complicated. I mean, I think it's very clear what the loss of life is, but a lot of damage. Done. And a lot of things have happened that I don't know. Her head is necessarily in that uh, space right now. You know, after a death like that, I don't think she's she's just trying to move out of that. And she has to get another job, and that's what I think that her her main point. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Laura's relationship with her father? What you what you've seen so far? Because they seem to end. Even though it was emotional on like a very quick note. Yeah, um, Laurel and 
twins are very, you know, it's, the family lives and dies between the two of them. Obviously, they're not the brother came back, came back, but it's still them. And they are, it's interesting because the world, I feel like, challenges him and stands up to him. And I, and I love those scenes when the writers write for, for Paul and I because they're, they have, they're hotheads and they go, they go at it and they're not, you know, I think she's not afraid to stand up to him. Um, but they obviously, the end of that, that the finale, they came obviously very close to what that happened. And I think you'll see an interesting thing that happens to Laurel's point of view on the, on the arrow um, is, is questions. You know, I think she, she sort of, it, it shifts a bit. And the same with her father. So I think that there are things, you know, he taught her everything that she knows. Um, but it's almost like she does his job for him and it's better. And so he kind of has to sit here and look at his daughter and be like, you know, he's responsible for it. But at the same time, she, you know, it's kind of hard on her legal thing, but there's a respect for her love and their family at the end of the day. And always